Welcome to another video of Syncpricks. In today's video, we'll be talking about the Ivantoy, the powerful and easy to use Pixie server solution. Ivantoy is an enhanced version of the Pixie server designed to simplify the process of booting and installing operating system on multiple machines simultaneously through a network. With Ivantoy, you can effortlessly boot and install operating system on multiple machines at the same time. No complicated configurations are needed. Just place your ISO file in a specified location and select on the client machine. Setting up Ivantoy is straightforward. So let me show you how we can do that. I am on Ivantoy website, which is ivantoy.com. And here, if you click on downloads, you can see here, these are three options which are available. One of the options says the Ivantoy Win 64-bit or Windows 64-bit, then is for Windows 32-bit. And then the last one is for the Linux, which is again free. So you can use any of these installation medias. And in case you want to see the documentations and frequently asked questions and so on, but don't worry about that. I'll be guiding you in this particular tutorial that how you can get started with the Ivantoy. So if you click on download link, you will see all these three installation options. Source code is also available in case you are familiar with how to modify the source code. Otherwise, we'll be going with the Linux version here. And I'll be installing this on Ubuntu as a Linux container in Proxmox. So if you go here to Proxmox, so I'll be creating a new container here inside the Proxmox. Of course, you can use it on any Linux VM also but I'll be creating Linux container for easy and quick setup. So I'll be going here to PVE and I'll create the container here. And that container name I'll be giving Iventoy. And password I'll be using for the root. Click next. Template I'll be choosing from my local storage and that local storage has the template already available. You can use Debian also, but I'll be using Ubuntu 22.04. Click next. Disk I'll be using local LVM or local disk for this particular tutorial. Uh, you can of course use any disk which is available to you. So local LVM will be fine. And the disk size will be depending upon you uh, that if you have multiple ISO images that you will be using on your home lab or in your office. For example, if you want to use Windows installation media, Linux or Ubuntu installation media, VMware installation media and anything. I'll be using, for example, Proxmox uh, installation media also. And I might use some other ISO images also. 32 GB in my case will be more than enough, but it all depends on you what you want to have. So 32 GB as a storage. And then I'll keep it default core one and uh, RAM also 512 is enough, but I'll be going with the uh, one GB of the RAM. Click next. Here on the network setting, I'll be using the IP address IPv4 192.168.240.9. This will be my IP. In your case, you can use anything and slash 24 bit. And here the gateway will be 192.168.240.1. I'll click next. Uh, one thing that you have to see here is the network. If I show you, I'm using VMVR1 for this purpose. Here, if you go, VMVR1 is my 240 uh, range. So I'll be using VMVR1 for uh, bridge for this purpose. Click next. DNS, I'll leave default and confirm. Uh, you can see here that unprivileged is enabled right now. So I'll go back here in the general setting and unprivileged I will be disabling. And click next, next and on end you can come and finish. Now if I go to Ivantoy, so I'll just start it first of all and let me see if everything is fine. Ivantoy, root and password. So I'm logged into this machine. So if I come here to options, of course, there are various options available. You won't be able to make the changes to uh, some of the configurations. And if you want to make the changes, you can go to the main PVE shell. And from there, you can make the changes. If you cat slash etc slash PVE slash LXC slash 121, which is the Linux container dot cons, you can see the configuration of this, which is available. And here it doesn't show me the unprivileged. In case if you want to see a 120 
in 120 you can see that container is unprivileged and it is selected as yes did so i need to uh, edit that i will be editing 121 which is ivan toy to make sure that container is not unprivileged so i will go here instead of cat i will do nano editor and i will edit the configuration here and at the bottom i will be adding that unprivileged command which will be colon zero so it means that the container is not unprivileged this is requirement in fact you have to make sure this is done of course the configuration is updated now but it will take the impact only once i restart the container so i will go here console or i can go here to shut down and reboot yes server has started and in this one there is nothing installed right now so we need to install ivantoy and in order to install ivantoy i will be using this particular uh, link here so there is ivantoy linux free tar dot gz this is the link i will be copying this link from here copy link address and i'll go back here to the ivantoy container and i will get this link by typing wget and paste that link over here and enter it will download the zip file all right so file is downloaded if we see the list of files so this is the file which has to be extracted this is a zip file and how we can extract we'll use command called tar zxvf and here i'll be typing the file name and enter so now file has been extracted and there is a folder which is created now if i ls this you can see here that ivantoy folder is created which has been extracted from this particular file so i'll be going here cd space ivantoy and i'm into the folder and if i see the list of files here you can see ivantoy.sh is the command that i'm going to use but here are these other folders also which are and data doc and iso so all the iso images will be stored here you can even download or you can even uh, upload the iso images directly into this or you can use wget command inside this folder to download all the iso images and it will be available here and you can use of course ftp also in case you want to upload the iso images which are already there so i'll show you all these methods once we install it so we'll start installing so we'll go ivantoy dot sh and here we need to start the service by typing the extension a of course everything is available in the documentation so we'll start all right so i always write the wrong spelling because inventory have been using for a long time ivantoy dot sh dash a space start uh, now you can see here it shows me that pid is zero which means that service has not yet started i'll try again again and let me clear the screen here and again if i try to of course uh, start this it shows me pid is equal to zero so one more fix here is of course we have done the settings here if i go back here to the shell of pve and we saw here the configuration unprivileged was zero we need to also disable the security configuration or security profile restrictions on this container there is an extension called lxc dot which is for the security module in fact it is for the security profile and dot profile and here we'll be using colon unconfined so these are the security restrictions so in case you want to disable the security restrictions on linux container this can be done with the help of this particular command so i'll be doing control x save the configuration we'll be going back here to the container which is ivantoy i will just restart this first and then we'll start installing ivantoy again all right so we'll be logging in again to the ivantoy uh, after the reboot and here if you see the list of folders so you have this folder which we have to open of course we'll be going cd ivantoy and we'll be logging into the folder clear the screen and here list of the files you have that command which is ivantoy.sh so we'll be running command ivantoy.sh and space dash a and here we'll be using command start ivantoy has started successfully and the process id is 302 and here you can see that it will be running on port 26000 
the IP address of this particular computer or this particular server is 192.168.240.9 and the uh, HTTP 26000 port will be used here. So I'll be just opening this in the browser with port 26000. Enter. You can see here now we have successfully logged into the inventory server. Uh, so basic information is available here, configuration is available here, TFTP server timeout, TFTP max, uh, retransmit and all of that, these are the information. DHCP mode, I have to choose external and I'll show you why I have to use that. All other information can be left as default. I'm already using PFSense as the uh, DHCP server, so I'll be using external for that purpose. Now, if I go to Mac filter, of course, you can use Mac filters also, uh, deny mode and permit mode, uh, depending upon if you don't want all the machines to get the uh, Pixie boot from this particular server. And in image management, I will show you that as well. Uh, but before that, let us do the configuration here. In configuration, as I mentioned, that DHCP server mode has to be external, and I'm already using a PFSense services and DHCP server. I'm already using the Pixie boot and this was the BIOS file. So we need to add these files into your DHCP server in case you don't want to use the Iventoy as the DHCP server. We'll be using external DHCP server and there is a configuration also available if you go to document and if you go to third party DHCP server. So there is configuration for external DHCP. So you can see here the boot file name. So what should be the boot file name? In external mode, the boot file name will be Ivan Toy Loader 16000. So this will be the boot file. So I'll be copying this and I'll go into DHCP server, which is PFSense. And instead of default BIOS file name, which is which I was using XYZ Pixie Boot. So I'll be using this one now. And here the IP address is of course 9. And for the TFTP server also, it will be 9. Uh, let me save it for the time being and we'll be going back here and see if any other configurations are related. So we are using default port. That's why it is 16,000. It also says that in case you have changed the port. So instead of 16,000, if you are setting up 17,000, so you can accordingly change the port. So in Ivantoy, it has not yet started. If you go back here to the Ivantoy server and if I show you the main screen here it has not yet started because there is no images right now available images means that all the iso images you have to get it of course i will be getting the proxmox as an iso image i'll copy the download url from here copy the link and we'll be going back here to the ivan toy and in ivan toy as i mentioned that iso has to be in the iso folder so i'll be going here cd space iso and I will do wget and I'll use this particular ISO image over here. It will get the ISO image. All right, so our first ISO image has been downloaded here in the ISO folder. And if I see the list of files, you can see here Proxmox VE 8.2.iso. And if I go back here to Ivan Toy and if I refresh this here, you can see here Proxmox VE ISO image has been detected here. And if I go to now boot information, I'll just start this now. You can see here Ivan Toy is running. And in case you want to stop, you can stop it here. Now, in order to test this, whether the Pixie boot is working fine, I'll be going here to Proxmox and I'll create just a VM just to see if a network boot is working. So I'll create a VM test Pixie and uh, OS. ISO image I will not be using as I need to boot from the network. So I'll be using network boot here. Everything else I will leave default. And here instead of Google Drive, I'll be installing it on, for example, I'll do 10 GB local disk, CPU, memory, network, uh, VMBR1. This is just a test VM. We are not going to do anything here. You can see here 122 is the VM which is created. I'll go here to options here and in boot order, I will make sure that net boot is on top. It will now boot from the network. 
So I'll just start this and I'll go to console. If everything goes fine, it will boot from the Pixie. It is configuring the network and here you can see Ivan Toy. And here, first ISO image, which you can see here is Proxmox. So we can now get started with the Ivan Toy. We can start installing. If I press enter here, it will of course load the Proxmox and that's it. So we can start installing Proxmox using Pixie Boot now. And similarly, we can add more ISO images using WinSCP or we can download directly into the server over here. So in next video, I'll show you how we can install Proxmox using Pixie Boot on network. And for Pixie Boot, we are using Ivan Toy. And in Ivan Toy right now, image Proxmox is available. So see you in next video.